Hello, this is Cheryl Peterson with Healing Science Today. I keep thinking about mind and minds. Have you ever wondered about the mind? I catch myself thinking that people, animals, and plants have minds of their own. Sometimes I think my car, my legs, or my hands have minds of their own. My hand mind keeps putting potato chips in my mouth, and my mouth mind says this tastes good. Even when my brain mind says, uh, this is not a good idea, stop eating chips. I have wondered if God has a mind separate from my mind. But I realize that I would not even have a God if I didn't have a mind to know something greater than myself. So there must be some mind connection between God and me. To reason through this, I use spiritual awareness to gain a better understanding of mind. We all have spiritual awareness. It is that subtle but wise awareness of what is really going on. Like when someone is boasting about their accomplishments but really covering up their mistakes. Spiritual awareness has a good sense of those traits that can be hidden from our physical senses. It is quite usual today for us to learn about and practice using our spiritual awareness, sometimes through the assistance of spiritual directors, therapists, and religious persons. I think of Nehemiah from the Bible showing that our spiritual awareness detects inspiration, enlightenment, and foresight. From the Old Testament in the Bible, the prophet Nehemiah was inspired to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But some people tried their hardest to stop and scare Nehemiah, who finally told those naysayers, no such things as you say have been done, for you are inventing them out of your own mind. So, Nehemiah didn't turn to the minds of others. Nehemiah turned to God and acknowledged, reading from the Bible, but now, O oh God, strengthen my hands. The walls of Jerusalem were rebuilt. This is interesting. I can know mind, the mind of myself and my hands, but I can also ask for strength of mind. I am not going to ask for a stronger mind to keep putting potato chips in my mouth. Wisdom will have none of that. But I can ask the God of infinite mind to pour through me the strength of mind to eat properly, to make amends, to recover balance. I will admit here, all the times when I eat too many potato chips, as if the chips had a mind of their own to force my mind to eat them, it only reinforces the fact that chips, my hands, stomach, even brain, have no mind of their own, probably are mindless. I either follow the mind susceptible to mindlessness, or I follow the mind of God, the pure and true love that cares for us all reasonably and wisely. Christ Jesus counseled, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind.